hey guys how are you all today i'm gonna my start my first lecture on mechanics so that is dynamics of uniform circular motion so in this chapter i will uh, tell you about the whole mechanics that a body moving around a circle in a in a specific or or in some, or in some other circle so uh, let's start from the first paragraph so here is a particle is in uniform circular motion if it travels around a circle or a circular arc at constant uniform speed so uh, we have a we have a body that is uh, uh, traveling rotating uh, uh, uniformly uh, in in a very popular circle so that's why its, it's speed is uniform it means that speed is not changing so uh, as we know that if a body is moving around a circle so only the direction uh, the direction of the body uh, uh, have to change uh, in every respect of time but the overall speed of the body will remain same so also the speed does not vary the particle is accelerating because the velocity change in direction as i tell, told you already that every from every position and from every point the, velo the, the velocity of the body will uh, definitely will be changed but the whole uh, speed will be constant so uh, here i'm using two terms speed and velocity so remember that speed and velocity have two different terms no doubt that that the unit of speed and velocity are same meter per second but speed is a scalar quantity and and velocity is a vector quantity so this is the main difference between a, a speed and velocity so uh, now consider a body of mass m which is moving with uniform speed v along a circular path of radius r from uh, from the origin of the center of the circle so as the direction of the body changes continuously as i told you earlier therefore it has variable velocity variable velocity means the, the different velocity and not constant velocity and it has some acceleration a so acceleration a will, will definitely be produced because velocity is changing so if velocity is constant then, then acceleration will also be constant or equal to zero but uh, now in our case and in this case velocity is changing so it means velocity is variable so due to this variable of velocity definitely acceleration will be produced which is directed radially inward towards the center of the circle definitely uh, uh, because body is moving and the, uh, the acceleration of the uh, the acceleration of the body will move it towards the center of the circle so this is called centripetal acceleration and is given by a equals to v squared over r and here r is the radius of the circle and v is the speed of the particle or the body of mass m hence a is a variable vector because even though its magnitude remains constant but its direction changes continuously so because body is moving in a circle in a, in a very curved path so every so in every curved path the body tends to rotate itself in a circular motion so that's why it's happened so in addition during this acceleration at constant speed the particle travels the circumference of the circle in time so as uh, as we know that that uh, omega equals to vt and uh, here is the circumference omega is equal to 2 pi r so so that's why t equal to omega over v t pi r over v so t is called a period of revolution so um, uh, in which times or in which seconds the body is body is completing his circle so that is the period of revolution or simply the period and the unit of this period is seconds so in general the time for a particle to go around a closed path exactly once the net force acting upon the body is called centripetal force which is given by the newton's second law of motion as we know that newton's second law uh, uh, is given by that summation f summation f means the the whole and the every type of forces that are acting on the body at every point so summation f equal to m a this is very simple form of newton's second law of motion so here we, we are putting a equal to v square over r so as we know that the acceleration acceleration is the time rate of change of velocity state of velocity with respect to uh, distance r so v state over r so here we are putting a equal to v state over r so the body moving in the circle is not in equilibrium state because the velocity is changing because the net force acting the body is not zero and why this net force is not zero due to velocity this force which is responsible for uniform circular motion and is always directed towards the center of the circle this is called centripetal force 
so here uh, uh, note again that a centripetal force is not a new kind of force the name merely indicates the direction of the force it can in fact be a frictional force or some kind of gravitational force the force from a car wall or a string or any other force for any situation we can say that that a centripetal centripetal force accelerate a body by changing the direction of the body's velocity without changing the body's speed so body's speed will remain constant in this case so uh, this was uh, our whole discussion about the dynamics of a uniform circular motion so thank you so much guys uh, please subscribe to my channel all the best